Located in Lafayette, Louisiana, Diana Ray Jewelry doesn't need a store with thousands of square footage to offer their customers unlimited jewelry possibilities. Focused almost exclusively on custom design and original collections, Diana Ray delivers a unique shopping experience that combines technology and craftsmanship. From 3D computerized design areas right in the showroom to on-site artistry of hand sketching, the Diana Ray experience is intriguing. The fun and freedom of try-on prototypes is counterbalanced with the captivating preview experiences of 3D printed model displays. Even more impressive is the story points and sales professionals that help customers explore with comfort, using customer-friendly tools that empower customers to control budget as well as design. The Diana Ray customized experience is also online. Every custom design and customer becomes a celebrity because Diana Ray offers an exclusive online customer gallery that encourages a customer to show off and share their designs. Diana Ray does not want to wait for customers to enter their showroom to tell their unique story. Every component of their marketing and communications is focused on helping consumers think differently about jewelry and how jewelry is created. J.R. Dunn Jewelers is located in Lighthouse Point, Florida, an affluent waterfront community that is part of the Miami Fort Lauderdale market. Jim and Anne Marie Dunn started their jewelry business in 1969 and today, with the support of their son Sean, operate their beautiful Florida store that is over 8,000 square feet. While some second and third generations of family jewelers sometimes struggle to explore new directions, Sean boasts that his father has always given him the latitude and confidence to try new things. And so, over a decade ago, when many jewelers were confused by Neiman Marcus and Saks offering their luxury brands via e-commerce, J.R. Dunn was breaking new ground as one of the first jewelers to enter e-commerce. Back then, Sean was considered a maverick by some, controversial by others, and a troublemaker by watch brands. Many manufacturers who wanted to restrict his internet promotions and sales in 2005 support his site today and or sell to him direct. What's most unusual about J.R. Dunn Jewelry is their store location, because on the same property where their store is, there resides another building, jrdunn.com, that manages the continual growing channel of their online business. Of course, their website is a mobile, responsive one, and yes, they have the most sophisticated Zoom photography and customer comparison tools. J.R. Dunn Jewelers operates 365 days a year, but it still manages to be personal. It is not unusual to hear stories about important internet customers like the one Sean flew in from Texas, checked into the Riverside Hotel, and catered to an in-store J.R. Dunn experience. Oh, there was also waterfront dining. J.R. Dunn strives to be an omni-channel retail store at its best. Enter g -Thrap Jewelers in Indianapolis, Indiana, and you may not immediately know that you're in a jewelry store. From the moment you open the door to G-Thrap Jewelers, the experience is unique because it is decorated more like the interior of a nautical themed lake house rather than a jewelry store. The walls are lined with old maps of Indiana lakes and every aspect of the decor holds a story to be shared or a piece of local history to be learned. From the canoe previously owned by the VP of General Motors to Eli Lilly's main sail masthead, the local history grabs your attention at every angle. The jewelry displays are also aligned with the unique environment and use the lakeside artifacts and wood, and many of the g -Thrap designers are exclusive. Nothing is common about this unique shopping experience. Most importantly, the lakeside memorabilia creates the ambiance for storytelling and customer interaction. In fact, g -Thrap will tell you that relationships and communications are key to their success. While their website is responsive and multiple Mark Horn platforms are maximized, direct mail and advertising is overshadowed by text messages and emails exchanged between sales associates and customers. While some jewelry stores can give customers a chill, what visitors experience at GThrap is the warmth of a storyteller and the crackle of a warm fireplace. It's not unusual for Borsheim's fine jewelry and gifts to have its name in headlines across the country. As part of the famous holding company, Berkshire Hathaway, Borsheim's continues to garner attention from Wall Street, but everyone wants to know how this single store in Omaha, Nebraska became one of the nation's largest and well-known jewelry stores. Borsheim's will tell you that their success is rooted in their heritage. In business for over 100 years does not mean that Borsheim's looks or talks the same. 
What remains unchanged in their 62,000 square foot flagship is their commitment to providing exceptional customer service, access to executives, and an extensive inventory that offers everyday Borsheim's value pricing. From the deployment of iPads in all departments to a guest network Wi-Fi, Borsheim's offers non-stop customer forward technology innovations that keep them connected to their customers in-store as well as online. Their most recent in-store innovations include introducing scent marketing to subtly greet their customers at the store's threshold. Also, they provide complimentary Borsheim's nail polish. This 100-year-old legacy of Borsheim's continues to evolve with the industry daily. Located in Little Rock, Arkansas, Robertson's fine jewelry has a focus that is different than most U.S. retailers. Robertson started in 1990 as a gold and silver classic retailer, but today the owner, Trish Robertson, defines Robertson's as a new business in an old business, and she continues to evolve the Robertson's into the new marketplace of personal retail. Robertson's is living proof that for every trend, there is a successful counter trend. Because Robertson's fine jewelry is all about women rather than brides. So, as bridal continues to be the core focus or key business component for most jewelers, Robertson's designer focus is all about women's self-purchase. Robertson's has jewelry advertising that is linked to noteworthy quotes of famous women and it simply cannot be ignored, at least not by women. Their communications are also personalized and reach women the way only another woman would understand with scented candles, or something that makes life a little easier, a Super Bowl party supply basket. Robertson's focus is on women, not sales, but rewards loyal customers with nights out, like taking a fun-loving group of women to the Pink Concert and a group of watch enthusiasts to the Breitling Air Show. Robertson's is all about women, designers, relationships, and fashionable fun.